The Chaser Report is recorded on Gadigal land. Striving for mediocrity in a world of excellence, this is The Chaser Report. Hello and welcome to The Chaser Report. I'm Charles Firth and with me today is Dom Knight. Hello! And Craig Rucastle. Good to be here. Great way to bury the lead. Yeah. <laughs> now, Dom, I've, I've heard a rumour that you, and I want to talk about TikTok in general, but I've heard a rumour that you um, are getting into tennis and the way you do that is by watching tennis on TikTok. Is this right? <laughs> not quite. So it's actually, I'm not cool enough to be on TikTok. What I do is I watch tennis on YouTube and it serves up shorts. And okay. shorts are YouTube's attempt to be TikTok and have vertically oriented video. And I don't know whether oh, you've so tried it's, to it's, watch it doesn't tennis. Fit well into your no, screen. <laughs> it's hilarious. YouTube's perfectly good in the normal way that it works, but now they've invented this stupid millennial way of, of doing video. Mm. And what it's very hard to watch tennis in a vertical screen. It's a ho- fundamentally horizontal sport. Mm. So um, does that in any way help you actually play tennis, Tom? <laughs> or is it like have you have you actually played yet? Or is this just <laughs> you just you're just prepping for tennis Ging by up. watching tennis? Uh, the important thing to do is to know <laughs> where would you hit the ball mentally. The Hypothetically, is, yes. I, I, the thing is, <laughs> what I tell myself is you've got to see and the whole of the court, <laughs> which is actually impossible <laughs> on those fucking vertical videos. And, and does that help with your muscle tone? Like, does it actually... Mm. Yeah, because you're clicking Cause constantly you're, to the next video. You're thinking about... I've actually got RSI. Yeah, from Spitfire. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. um, no, but I'm, I'm visualising the serve. I'm thinking, mm. will I hit it with kick? Will I hit it with top spin? Yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe a slice serve? Yeah. Uh, I, and there's a new thing called the pancakes. I was watching a video about the pancake serve the other day. Will I hit it with Rafael Nadal? <laughs> I, I went and had pancakes after the watching the pancakes <laughs> video. Um, so have you have you played tennis at all through this process of watching tennis? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've played it on the Nintendo Switch. <laughs> and I don't know whether you've played t- Nintendo Switch tennis, but it's yes, like the Wii Sports exhausting. tennis. You move your wrist at the very least because mm, mm. um, it's got the motion control. So yeah. I worked up quite a sweat. See, I reckon the thing you need to do is not be – because and this. so I had to delete TikTok this year because mm. I had to get onto it for work. And it, right. it is quite addictive. Like it's really addictive. You have mm. to get – I had to delete it. Totally just got into it. Really? It, yeah, it's, it's, it's ridiculous, the algorithm. Mm. It's, it's funny, though, because the algorithm is quite clever, like, but it takes a while to get who you are. So I don't know, like, I, I, and I do, if, if the Chinese government is correct, is listening to this, because I know that's the only point of the TikTok, I would just like to point out to them, I'm not actually into cranes. I don't know why. <laughs> Hang on, are we talking the bird or the construction? <laughs> no, the construction thing, because clearly what happened is in the first thing we do, I was like, first time watching TikTok, and you mm. just... You know, yeah. you, you just kind of just try to figure out what it is. Well, it, it, it said it looked at your name, Craig. And went, oh, yeah, Craig, you'd be into cranes. You'd be a crane yeah. driver. <laughs> but so clearly, at some point, it's fed up some crane falling off a cliff or some yeah. shit. And I've clearly watched too much of that video. Yes. yes. And it now, like, no. it's, it's seriously thought I was obsessed by cranes. I've constantly been fed crane videos mm. all the time. I'm astonished to hear that your TikToks are not full of preachy environmental videos <laughs> about cutting down on rubbish. <laughs> well, I guess maybe, uh, if I guess if, if all of the cranes fell off cliffs, maybe that's <laughs> better for the environment. I would have thought your know. TikTok was just Greta Thunberg going, I am very disappointed. <laughs> Over and over again. Well, that's why I had to delete it. From the just from cranes it. and Greta. Because <laughs> the thing is, I didn't realise that the reason why TikTok serves you content is because you linger on that content. Oh, okay. right? like, and I started complaining about it because everything that TikTok was serving me up was about how to be liked better. <laughs> <laughs> and I was complaining well, about it. And then they were going, that's because you like that content. Exactly. And I was like, this oh, like, no. This is like a friend of mine who... Was like, you know, we're just sitting there. He's on Instagram, right? And and he's kind of casually as going, I just, I just can't believe how Instagram just constantly serving up women in bikinis all the time. <laughs> yeah, first <laughs> trap. Yeah. And and I was like, do you understand? It's an algorithm. Right? <laughs> this is response. He had no idea. He was married. He was absolutely <laughs> appalled by he he doesn't he he isn't this, anymore. This, this friend of yours, Craig. <laughs> no, no, yeah. no, I wasn't even on Instagram, but he he literally there was to see the shock in his face. Mm. So he he finally realized that this he thought everyone's getting this. Mm. Like he thought this is what everybody's getting on, on oh, Instagram. How dare Instagram <laughs> shove bikini models down <laughs> everybody's yeah. throat? Everyone, how do people and get we, around this? We just have to scroll through it. <laughs> I, I checked them all to make sure that they weren't, you know, yeah, some yeah. sort of propaganda video. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But so he's literally yeah. I, I met him a month later mm. and he's 
entire time is spent on Instagram trying to fix the algorithm. Oh, good. Like oh. just trying to so watch he, other things. So he's, he just searches for videos of you preaching about straws. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's really, he I told him to get into cranes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so the other day, in our budget episode, we were talking about news.com.au mm. and how when you look when looking for budget news, there was no actual budget news. That's because they know what we click on. And this is why net yes. news is so terrifying because mm. um, for years, mm. you know, newspaper editors were putting the important stories at the front, thinking no. that people wanted that yeah, because yes. when they were surveyed, everybody said, yes, I really want to know about important national affairs. But actually none of us give a shit we want to know mm. about the dirtiest man in the world dying at the age of 94. Uh, stop listening to the podcast and listen to the previous episode if you haven't heard that story because, frankly, that's fascinating. <laughs> yeah, no, no one wants to listen to the budget episode, Tom. <laughs> Surely that's going to be but shown. It's not about the budget is the point because we didn't bother to re- – anyway. Yeah, because we weren't Case in point. Apart from crane videos, though, the actual reason I stayed on TikTok for quite a while, the, the thing I was obsessed by was this one dude in Florida. You know how mm. Florida got hit by the hurricanes? Mm. Yeah. And it was quite amazing. So this guy – just an average dude there. He kind of started filming in his own house, kind of going, you know, the water's up and it's nearly lapping, but he didn't get hit. But then he went down to the coastline and there was this amazing spot in Florida where these houses were on looked like they were on huge stilts, right? Mm. They're like about five metres above the waterline in the sea. Mm. But he was showing that these were like five years ago, there was a road here and there was a beach and everything else and there were houses that had bottoms and that. And it had all been taken away by rising sea levels and by the storm surges and, and by the hurricanes, that kind of stuff. And this guy is just filming. And every kind of day or two, he would go back and it would be like, it was the reason I'm staying on this was to watch these houses. Are they going to fall into the sea? What's happening? And then there's all these dudes like just obsessing about it. It was amazing just to, but it was bizarre to see this kind of content being made by mm. some dude in America. So you see, because oh, it's really good because you know in the past you'd have to get you know a hundred million dollar cgi budget to see natural disaster movies and yeah. now they can just be caught on your phone <laughs> now it's because some, reality yeah. serves up that sort of disaster it's hang on a second hang on a charles i i know what craig's trying to try and do here because this sounds incredibly oh, interesting yeah he's trying to make us care about climate change because <laughs> <laughs> i i, I yes. really want to see that and if no, we, no, and if no, we no. the landscape and is if, very, we, if we linger on this conversation then that will tell his algorithm to serve us up more you, environmental you content got, you've got to be joking I, I, like I, I fear to even talk about this because mm. the one thing that makes you go, oh, my God, we should open more coal mines and that is hearing about Florida people being <laughs> fucked over. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's just really hard. I'm really yeah. torn. Yeah, I'm right. like going, oh. Yeah, pros and cons. Yeah. You know. like, <laughs> I've got to hand it to climate change because that is really gener- almost instant karma. Like <laughs> yeah, yeah. putting Trump in the White House. Yeah, exactly. It's like within oh. a few years, the coastline. At what point does it inundate Mar-a-Lago? Yeah, exactly. Because that mar lago is literally in between two bodies of water. It's from the beach to the lagoon. Mm. Um, he's fucked. <laughs> it's gonna, I just hope he lives long enough to see his entire property underwater. Under. Yeah, the only problem with that, Dom, is if, if, if mar lago goes under, you lose a lot of really important documents from the White <laughs> House. <laughs> you know what my son was saying, the latest trend on TikTok is? Oh, yeah. Uh, is... Apparently, there's some photo of some sports team that took took a nude selfie. Right, right. Uh, about a year ago. Is this a, a male or a female sporting team? Because normally, female sporting teams have to get nude to promote their sport to, to raise yeah. money. That's true. Yes. And they either have you either get money from Gina Reinhardt or you get nude selfies. Yes, so. it's a it's a nude Wisconsin volleyball team. Right. Oh yeah. But the whole thing is. Th- TikTok's algorithm is that you've got to linger on content, right, mm. um, to for it to serve it up, right. And my son was saying, you know, like it's just all over TikTok. But the oh, way, on. but the way, no, no, but the way <laughs> they get you to like linger on the content, right? <laughs> yes, yes, Charles. <laughs> is they go in thirty? So they've got this new thing called slides, where you've got to flip through a whole lot of different slides to, mm, you know, right, to, and they say. On the 35th slide, you'll get to see the boobies, right? Charles, are you uh, outing your, your teenager for, yes. for watching? Oh, my God, like a teenager wants to see stuff. boobies. Did you, yeah, did you not hear earlier when we said you create the yeah, content you see the, through an this algorithm? This is the officially <laughs> the least surprising <laughs> development. I like like the we need the internet for teenagers to be interested in boobs. <laughs> I like the way that, that, that Charles' son is clever enough to realise that, that if he just tells it to his dad in, in a kind of academic way, mm. yes, it's an interesting trend on TikTok at the moment <laughs> where these nude 
people, but you have to go through many slides to get to it. <laughs> <laughs> but the whole thing was, it's, it's such a clever trick because you've got to make it really boring. For got all these people sliding through tons and tons of content, which which increases the algorithm. So mm. think, oh, it's Charles, at the end of this, this quite tedious story, are there going to be boobs? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I'm not yeah. Yeah. So what you're saying, so under your theory, I'm, I'm that, very, under your theory, I'm impressed. Porn, like Pornhub or something, yeah, what it should do, become it, it, you should go really on boring. to it. And yeah, yeah. yeah the, the, first, yeah. <laughs> the first 35 videos. videos you have to watch yeah. are of people holding hands and yeah. walking on a beach. Yes. Before you get yeah. to yeah. any sex. And maybe you have a plot, you know, like where, you know, there's a love triangle or something like that. Yeah, and, yeah. Yeah. And you have 90 minutes before you get to the booby oh, scene. Oh, this is like, where we should put Craig's Earnest Environment documentary. <laughs> <laughs> How much it's really important. Yes. Yes. You've got to watch doing my too many guys. coffee cups. Straws are a problem. Oh, sex. Boobies. Hang on a second. I'm about to make another one. Are so you? you're saying what I should do mm. is put some... Uh, mm. Some sex right at the end some of yes. the first, <laughs> a, a first trap. Yeah. Get okay. the Wisconsin volleyballers on board. Yeah, 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 so hang yeah, on, yeah. so what are you going to ruin now? You've already taken straws from us. You've <laughs> taken coffee cups. What's next? Yeah. What do you like, Dom? Because I really need to look into that to really research that first. Oh, I really love paying for petrol in my car. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, re- you don't take away my Bowser, Rue Castle. Oh, yeah, well, okay. I'll see what I can do. But, uh, but look, if you do watch it, I will not take anything away from you, but there will be sex at the end. <laughs> the algorithms are a nightmare. But I think I do think that, um, Domi, that the thing about you and your approach to playing tennis yeah. is not the best. So, just so, so, you, so because I got so into TikTok for a while and became obsessed, mm. even though it was serving up crane videos, mm. I finally had to delete it. So last week I played tennis seven times. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> wow, and you think that that was because... <laughs> and it, ironically, by not watching tennis See, online, yes. you, you actually you played more a time. lot more. Yes. You played physical tennis. Yeah. Not just <laughs> once, but the seven <laughs> times. In the, <laughs> who are you, fucking Rafael Nadal now? <laughs> it, no, you I'm played a Grand Slam tournament? An unemployed guy that doesn't have TikTok it, anymore. It's a bit like TikTok in that it sort of serves you up more tennis. Yeah. Like reality <laughs> serves you up more tennis. Yeah, yeah if you play. Yes, very addictive. Right. Yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly. So that's, that's how the way that's the algorithm your, that's works. That's your exercise tip. Yeah, yeah. I reckon you should stop watching tennis and try. And this is radical. Yeah, it's radical. Try yeah. playing it. Look, you've you've made me feel ashamed, and I really, I mean, I know. Look, I'm in my mid forties. My my body started to pack up. I do need to mm. actually exercise more. So I'm just going to go and watch some exercise YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Our gear is from Road, and we are part of the ACAST Creator Network. Catch you tomorrow.